She is in very good spirits and she thanks all of you guys who have reached out to her and have prayed for her. And so therefore I'm using this opportunity now to ask the greater community to please send your love and healing and prayers to Anita Brown. She is a moderator for AstroBooBaby.net. Uh, we love her dearly. She's done so much for her us in the community and she will do so much more because I know and I see that she will make it through but of course a speedy recovery is usually based on how well we are in spirit and our having the right attitude but of course love and support from family and friends is equally important so family friends send Anita your love your prayers and whatever you have to share now on to the meat of why I'm doing this particular vlog. You know, so many people write me and ask, Astro Boo Baby, why don't you tell us more about how to astro project? I'm very methodical in how I do things. Nothing is just thrown out there. You know, I'm, I'm very, very attentive, attentive and focused on how I do what I do. And for a long time, I was kind of like on autopilot, um, but now it's, it's all coming into full view. Now, one of my most focused areas with this video is being a catalyst to bring more attention to astral projection and giving tips on how we can raise our vibration. Why? Because this is what I've been through. I am one who's been through a lot of stuff in my life. I've been through severe depression. You know, I know what it's like to come up against uh, odds after odds, but I will figure a way out and I will overcome. And so ultimately this becomes a part of my ministry. I'm ministering in a sense when I do these, these videos talking about these so-called quote unquote paranormal things. When we engage one another in this way, there's an exchange of energy. There's more going on than meets the eye, let me tell you. Even the, the things that I do that has more of like an entertainment or artistic format to it, there is more going on to meets the eye because family, as I've always said, everything carries a frequency. Everything carries energy. We are constantly doing an energy transfer. This is why there are those who are of a self service to self orientation, want to control what we hear and what we see because those who control what we hear and see control our perception of reality they influence our vibratory field they influence our soul and spirit to a degree and more so some than others so this is why it's very difficult for people to perceive that they are really in a vibratory prison on many levels because the music, the so-called education, and being conditioned to be left brain more than anything else has convinced them that what they see and experience with the five senses is all there is. I was having spontaneous astral projection very early on because I had to go through the fire and go through the danger, but all the while figuring out ways to um, get the equations to go around or go under or figuring out equations to overwrite the things that have been spiritually, mentally, and physically enslaving us. We are all down here on the ground level going about bringing this freedom for everyone in the best way we know how. My angle is more 
from a spiritual, artistic expression side of the coin. I'm more right brain. This is where psychic uh, intuitiveness, um, you know, I'm very spirituality. This is where more of where my angle is. So, having said that, not everyone will learn and can learn or will learn the same way. In other words, there are some of us who are left brain. We're more left brain. So therefore, we need workers who can appeal and give them the tools and the keys that they need to get and help them or get them out from where they are from that perspective. Then there are those of us who are more on the right brain. Those of us who are creative, artistic, highly intuitive, where the psychicness comes in, uh, the, 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 the senses that go beyond the five. This is where I come in. Or people like me who are down here doing this groundwork comes in. What I have been doing and am doing is, on the ground level, bringing awareness and being a catalyst. But from a higher mind spiritual soul level perspective, I am going put myself through some rigorous craziness or have been put myself through some rigorous craziness to get the equations to to figure things out, get those equations and I download them in the collective grid so that those who have raised their vibration or gotten their awareness to a certain point, they then too can download what I have downloaded within the collective grid. And once they download and they begin, you know, decoding and applying what I have shared, they will then do the same thing and so on. Again, this is from a perspective of those who are more uh, right brain than left brain. Now, having said all of that, I recently astral projected and I finally figured out how to push beyond that high, the highest dimensional wall of the astral plane. How did I do this? Well, let me let me backtrack a little bit. For years, I would find myself in the astral plane where I would get to the highest level, and I know that there's more, but something I would feel like a magnetic pull, like something would hold me back, and it would be a really intense magnetic wall or magnetic pull that no matter how hard I push, I couldn't go beyond it. I couldn't. It was just, it's almost it's like the same feeling you get for those of us who have experienced sleep paralysis. It's that times a hundred. That feeling of, of just being immobilized and you know you can go, you can push more, but something is so overpowering and strong on your beingness that you can't go beyond a certain point. That's what it was like. So for years, I've come up against this resistance and just couldn't get beyond it. But let me tell you, I did. I pushed beyond that dimensional wall. I gave it everything that I had. How did I do this? I took every bit of hurt, anger, injustice, Everything that I could possibly muster and I channeled it, I used it as a focal point for power and I pushed beyond that wall with, there was resistance, but it was almost like with ease at the same time. And so family, now I'm here sharing this data with you to say that many of you will be doing the same thing. These codes are in the collective grid. Those of us who are more right brain or those of us who are in the middle is there. This is why I'm always saying raise your vibration. Now, we all fall off the wagon every now and then. I do still as well because I am still in a physical vessel with flaws. I'm imperfect. 
you know, with these flaws and I still have to deal with a lot of 3D things and I fall off the track, but I never stay down. Never, ever do I stay down. And I want you guys to get the same spirit. This is why I was able to push past that final wall that has been a real hindrance for me. Someone who's been on autopilot for a large amount of time. But this is why I am here. I am here to allow myself to go through the heat. And we are winning. We are winning. So thank you guys so much for this time that we share once again. Again, raise your vibration through eating as much raw organic fruits and vegetables as possible getting out getting charged from the sun drinking lots of fresh water helping your fellow man in any way that you can giving to your fellow man in any way that you can this is a form of service because as universal law has shown us what we give out we get back when you charge someone through the gift of caring and compassion and kindness you charge them you become charged or we become charged. Focus more on balancing your mind, body, and soul in whatever way you feel resonates with you. Because as I repeatedly said, what may work for some may not work for the other. This is why we have different modes and methods in getting this job done. And that we are. And so family, as always, you are love beyond measure. And happy what? Happy travel.